Hi, I'm Kat, and this is today's tarot. We have a full moon today, which means that astrologically in the sky, we have the moon, which is in direct opposition of the sun. The sun is right now in the sign of Cancer, because it just moved into the sign of Cancer. And so the moon is in the sign is, that is direct opposite of that. It's in Capricorn. So we are starting to get a, some reflection in the areas of where the moon is at or where Capricorn is sitting in our natal chart. And within that, some things are being brought to the surface. So you consider the energetics of the tides and the uh, pull that the full moon and new moon has on the tides. And what it does is it actually brings things to the surface and where allowed to see things that were uh, kind of hidden and so in that way full moons can be a time of revealing in our lives now as far as the tarot goes for the day we have the ace of swords and the ace of swords is all about clarity and having that uh, clear cutting perception into a situation, getting a sense of things that allows you to kind of cut through any BS and um, see through any kind of illusion that you might have been stuck in in times recently. And the challenge that we have that came in today, now this is kind of interesting stuff, guys. Um, you know, I'll often talk about astrology and when it shows up in the tarot cards and we had some of that today so the challenge that we have for today is the king of swords and the way we're going to get through the challenge is the three of wands and the overall outcome is the king of pentacles so the king of swords which is the challenge for the day is associated with aquarius and right now saturn is sitting in the sign of aquarius and it's in retrograde so we are getting a time of review around our sense of responsibility in where aquarius is sitting in our natal chart which is pretty interesting now aquarius in this card is associated with the power of knowledge the power of perception and and what it what we gain from experience and going through something now consider that the sign of capricorn is associated with the mountain goat the mountain goat uh, or any person who is trying to climb a mountain has a certain plan in mind but how they get there and what they had to overcome in going on that journey and getting to where they were aiming for actually gave the, them the experience which is the power of knowledge which is why Aquarius comes after the sign of Capricorn so how this relates to today is that it could be some way that we see things is actually bringing up a ch is challenging for us we might actually be uh, considering seeing things in a new way or have a friend or someone that's close to us bring in a perspective that causes us to see things in a new way that challenges our point of view and challenges the way that we see things we may also see that uh the way that uh, we are seeing things are, is actually causing some kind of friction in our lives and that's within that area that deep reflection is showing us where things may need to shift and things may need to change because of the experiences that we've been going through. Now, the way that we're going to get through that challenge is the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands is someone who is, you know, heading out on a journey and is kind of looking at all of the obstacles that could possibly come in their way and they're not actually moving forward because they're reluctant. They're reluctant based on what they think they might have to deal with or what they think they might have to overcome. And the message behind this card is to continue to move forward. Move forward because help is on the way and know that help is all around you and that situations that do go awry from plans actually pre present an opportunity for you to listen and communicate and make connections so that you can actually 
overcome obstacles that are in your way. Now, every situation that we embark upon is an adventure in that way. And this is telling you that there is something that is calling you kind of possibly out of the way that you've been uh, seeing things, you know, and to go ahead and move forward because help is on the way. Now, the overall energy or the overall outcome for today is the King of Pentacles. Now, this card is associated with Taurus and our beliefs and our um, values, and it brings up the lesson of values. Now, why it's so interesting that these two kings showed up in our reading today is because they're both fixed energies, and these fixed energies are are right now being reflected or are being um, having our attention brought to them because of where they are astrologically in the sky. We have Saturn that is currently in the sign of Aquarius and we have Uranus which is currently in the sign of Taurus and Uranus is right now upsetting and uh, creating change in this area of stability which is our belief system and what we value. You know it's quite likely that a couple of years ago when Uranus started moving into the sign of Taurus, which it's been in for a couple of years now, that it started creating a change in your life that started shifting um, what you considered valuable, what you considered um, to be uh, worthy of your time and your efforts, you know, where you put your time and where you put your resources started changing because of the change, the changes that were happening in this space of Taurus in your chart. And Taurus is related to our financial situation as well as our body and our uh, material things in our lives that we actually value. It's also related to our belief systems. And all of these things have been rattled in the last few years with the energy of Uranus. And right now, we have these two energies which are square uh, to each other. So if you imagine the angular relationship of like a tire iron, you know, or a hard 90 degree angle, you know, they create friction and they create challenges in our life that um, ultimately create change and are opportunities for change. And, and you know, it's like um, loosening the bolt of a tire so you can actually change the tire, you know, like as much as, as much as we as a culture look at change as bad or stamp it that way, it ultimately is providing a new opportunity for us to uh, create things in our lives that we never knew were possible because that change has happened. And so right now we're having this square relationship in the sky between Uranus, which is this planet that just brings change to areas that are, you know, that are that stand in the way of progress in our lives and then we also have Saturn which is the planet of responsibility which is in the sign of Aquarius and it's like this responsibility around what we know and how do you act and respond to what you know and um you know create action from it rather than just stuff it in your pocket as something that you know uh and having Saturn be in this uh retrograde as you know in in our view it looks like it's going retrograde means that we're we're reviewing something we're slowing down we're not necessarily acting on what we know but we're reviewing on how we're going to act on what we know and uranus is going to continue to create change and so um, ultimately i think what causes us to act is this thing in our in our body is our heart and our blood that it pumps through our whole system it calls us to act and we need to respond to it uh, so how do we do that well we have to ground ourselves in our belief systems and know that we're anchored in our body and anchor ourselves in self-care and in you know taking care of the family and the home as well as our body with day-to-day -day routines and so uh, that is the tarot reading for today. If you're interested in seeing where Uranus is in your chart or where any planet is in your chart and where these aspects are showing up for you, feel free to reach out to me. I am scheduling some time for private readings again now that I have moved. 
And um, if you'd like to look at just getting even a tarot reading, we will look at the transits and aspects that are happening briefly within that reading, or we can also just focus on astrology as well. I also offer aromatic consultations and channeled readings and also nutrition consultations. So if you would like help in any of those areas, feel free to reach out. I will see you again soon and have a lovely full moon. Bye for now.